Hi everyone, my name is Zoe and I'm a St. Mary's College student and today I'm going to teach you how to make paints out of stuff you can find both in your kitchen and outdoors. The next step is to collect all of your materials. Here I use coffee. Um, it's not instant coffee but you could also use instant coffee for this. I also use beet peels that I used from uh, the last time that I cooked beets, so no waste here. And then I found flowers on the uh, ground that were fallen off from trees, obviously, and I made sure to wash them very well. Obviously, we don't want to... While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I got my strainer and my measuring glass that has teaspoons and tablespoons, ounces, and other things. You could just use a small little glass, but, you know, it's nice to know what the ratios are. From here, then you pour the boiling water into this little cup here. And we're gonna pour just a little bit into each container to start. Ooh, it's very hot, so watch your hands while you do this. Make sure that only touch the top here. Put a little bit more of that one. And then, we're going to take a teaspoon here and start to mix. Make sure that the water and the thing that we are mixing get nice and incorporated. So I'm going to do this with all of them off camera. And with the flowers, I'm going to make sure to press them down or any sort of plant that you may find outside. Um, not every plant has pigment and with this flower, I just found it outside so we don't know if it's going to have pigment. I can already start smelling it though, so maybe that's a good sign. We are now going to let this sit for a while, and we want to make sure by the time we use the pigment that it is nice and dark. You can see this sort of a middle red and sort of a middle brown, and we're going to wait till it's really, really, really concentrated before we strain it out. So I'm going to wait a good hour, and then I'm going to strain them. From here, let's check out what exactly had happened. So we can see now it's a much darker brown, almost orangey, reddish color. And we have our bright, bright red, pinkish um, beet. And from here, we didn't find very much of a color. We can just see a light pink. So perhaps this flower might work, but not for this particular pigment making process. We will now strain both the coffee and the beet separately and we'll sort of push it through to make sure all the liquids get through here. Now we're going to use our pigments here like watercolor paints and try them out. I'm going to start out here with my coffee pigment. I'm going to just Dip my brush in here and I'm going to start out and see how that looks. I definitely did not strain out everything here, but I kind of like the texture. It could be good for um, any sort of natural thing that you're painting, like trees. It's a pretty good intensity if you're doing a light watercolor. And then We'll try out our beet pigment here. And that is nice and bright. I might put some more on. There we go. That is really beautiful.
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try it yourself.